You, the, the, the muff punt in the, in the second quarter, but certainly bounced back from that. I mean, what was kind of going through your mind after that mistake in the second quarter? And do you think you'd get a chance to, to, to come back and, I guess, redeem yourself, so to speak? Yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted um, when I made that mistake. Um, I mean, I'm accountable to the team for that. And, and obviously, the momentum shift, um, and they came back, and we're only down by six coming into halftime. Um, mm -hmm. Coming into halftime, uh, we knew as an offense we had to make plays uh, like we did at the beginning of the game. So, uh, you know, we had a good plan. We trusted in it, and uh, I was just glad to have another opportunity to make play. Well, talk about the punt return. What did you see on that play, and how good did it feel to finally break one? I know you guys have been working on it for a couple of years. It felt great. Um, you know, he, he kicked it, it bounced, um, kind of hung up there. Um, as soon as I caught it, um, you know, I ran straight to the outside, and then DeAndre made a great block, and then, you know, uh, the rest of the guys came and built the wall for me, and um, I was able to run it in for the score. You know, through the touchdown pass too. I mean, uh, just kind of a capper. You know, when you were going well, this team was going well. In that second quarter, where the one was taken off, that there was other things. It was that, was that kind of a, a neat way to kind of cap the end of this game, throwing a touchdown pass to Brett. Yeah, it was great. It's kind of ironic. As a receiver, didn't have any catches today, but you know, still helped the offense as much as I could. Um, you know, when the play was called, you know, I just tried to contain all the excitement. I knew, uh, you know, we had been rehearsing it in practice. Um, you know. And unfortunately, I didn't throw it as well as I hoped. Uh -huh. uh, but Brett made a great play and did the rest. What are you thinking when you just complete that pass and all of a sudden they call your, call your number again to throw another one on the very yeah. next play? I guess they got some trust in me. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, those two points are huge. I mean, everyone worked together to make sure that play you know, operated smoothly. Um, it's a run pass option. And uh, as soon as I saw the defender break off Matt, I just lobbed it over and he did the rest. Do you think, you know, Chris, that you know you wanted another opportunity after the mistake? But sometimes, whether it's direct or indirectly, you don't get those opportunities. Did you think you were going to have opportunities to to make amends for that, or what was kind of going through your mind with with, with that? I think when situations like that happen, it defines the player. Mm -hmm. If you're able to bounce back from that, you know, if you race it, move on to the next play, um, it really shows the caliber of the player you, you have the potential to get. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, all I wanted was another opportunity. I knew I was accountable for that mistake. Um, and fortunately, the coach was uh, generous enough to give me another shot. How much of a confidence booster is this win now going into another bye week? It's great. Um, you know, anytime you can open conference play, especially with a win, that's huge. And then 4-2 uh, and two halfway through the season, you know. Um, obviously, we you know, hoping for 6-0, you know, but I mean, I still think we're in a good spot. Um, you understand that we, you know, are halfway done and we got, you know, a lot of work we still can do, um, but it's all about finishing. Uh, and that's, that's big for us in order to get to the postseason. Was this the type of response you guys were hoping to provide yourselves after what happened last week? Yeah, we had, a, we had a bad taste in our mouth all week. Um, you know, we, we didn't feel like we represented ourselves very well in that Utah State game, and we knew we could play better. Uh, we felt we were very uh, a lot better football team than we showed uh, against Utah State. Um, so, you know, coming into this game, you know, we just wanted to execute and, you know, really uh, show that we were a better team than we played better. You mentioned DeAndre. He's a guy who plays only on special teams, but it seems like he's always making those key plays that maybe people don't see in the stat sheet or anything like that. Is, uh, what have you seen from him and what he does for the special teams? He's a hard worker. You know, he's he's a young guy, but he plays like he's a lot older. Um, he's always in the right place where he needs to be. I mean, you can see it today. Um, he, he was, you know, making plays all over the field on special teams. And anytime you have a guy that you know gives 100%, uh, definitely uh, rubs off on the other guys on the field.